Hi, I'm J.D. Hoovener, your host of The Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor and entrepreneur, get your daily dose of inspiration to make the world a better place. So if you were with us yesterday, we talked about one of the most profound ways to influence yourself and others around you. Smiling, right? Okay, so today we're going to talk about something that might seem a little counterintuitive to that, but it's the word no. Yeah, the two-letter word no, N-O. So powerful and yet so rewarding. It's going to be one of those words that is hard to say sometimes when people ask you to do just a little tiny favor, uh, just a little something extra. Hey, do you have five minutes? Hey, can we do a quick call in, in the half hour? No should be your answer. Because in, in, in an interesting way, by you saying no, you're saying yes to what's most important to you and those big projects, that next hurdle you're working on, on that invention or big idea you've got in your garage or in your, in your workshop. This is the kind of powerful example you need to set and expectations you should set for yourself. Politely, of course, saying no, not right now. Nope, it's not possible. I've got another, another obligation. So try that out. That's your challenge is to say no five times today. Count them off. Don't make them feel bad, but get to the point. Don't let them take advantage of your time that you've spent on your major one project. Okay, we're still talking with our good buddy, Sean Smith out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and his invention on a tool cabinet with airlines, right? These are compressed airlines. So this invention and the filing documents, documents leading up to it um, are important. But here on this image, we're gonna look at the first page and we can spend a lot of time on the first page of the patent because there's a lot of information there. I wanna draw your attention to the section called References Cited. References Cited. So in this section, you'll look at all the different patents here and look carefully for those that have an asterisk next to them. Those that have an asterisk next to them were cited by the examiner. Okay, now there are plenty of those, I think three or four in this patent that do not have their asterisk, right? So those were ones that Sean Smith and his, his attorney brought forward under that rule we mentioned in previous session. But in 37 CFR 1.56, everyone involved in the patent process must disclose what they find. And so as you may know, the examiner at the USPTO and the patent office, they do their own examination and search. And so they may have found additional prior art uh, meaning different you know, inventions or publications that are close to what the invention is all about that the inventor and attorney may not have found and didn't disclose. So it's a collection of all this prior art that gets cited in the patent document right on the first page. So that if you're looking and trying to find out relative or you know, close to or similar inventions, you're going to want to start looking there. It's a great way to start doing research if you're looking and inventing in this particular area. So anyway, I hope you get to try this new effort uh, with regarding the, the word no and moving that forward into your, your own project, making your priorities that much of a priority uh, and you know, shifting that around. Um, and I uh, you know, look forward to talking with you more in detail about this patent tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you here on The Bold Today Show. I'm your host, J.D. Hoovener. Go big, go bold. bold at boldip.com.